guys! Jake and Marissa, back again for more, more live reactions, reactions to... Kaito Sentai Upe Ranger! Versus Keizetsu Sentai Pets Ranger. We actually, like, I think said it all correctly. Yeah, I didn't that say time. Kaito Sentai Pata Ranger again. Yeah. Uh, I know I know it's, uh, some, uh, somebody corrected it as being VS, uh, Kaito Sentai Pata Ranger, but I... I I think that's interchangeable. I know that they're VS changers, but I still think of it as versus. It, uh, I would need to hear it uh, stated on the show more clearly, and I might and and so I'll, I'll try listening a little bit more closely this time. I brought I, I I put my laptop here so I can try and read the lyrics when we. I've do got this. my phone over here, so I'm not leaning into someone who's singing the. Different thing for me. It's going to still be uh, a beautiful disaster, uh, but we'll, we'll we'll keep working on this. At least we we found uh, color coded lyrics. Yeah. So we can actually like. I'm red. You're blue. Yeah. 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 That's the thing. All right. Um, also, I think I actually have the easier lyrics. Cool. I, Half I, of my lines aren't English. Hold up, loop, and run if you you're can. You're right. I'm gonna chase you up anywhere you uh, are. Oh, you're a jerk. You're the one who said you wanted to do the guy part. I, I'm the guy! Do you really want me to try and do the woman's part? You'd have to do it in a different octave. It, it probably will not sound... It'll probably sound worse than it's going to sound already. <laughs> um, uh, it's, it's okay, the screen just took a nap. We'll, we'll, it'll come back up when I do play. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, this will be, much, just like with Q-Ranger, a, a slow journey to getting these lyrics and the song right. We got pretty good with Q-Ranger. Um, even if we could never quite nail the timing on that last lyric of... Um, but yeah, we're actually filming a little earlier in the day than we normally do. That's because we're um, at DRPR filming. Because we're going to be doing some DRPR filming tonight. Uh, we got some actors coming on. Yep. Finally get some, some footage taken care of for 85. I'm still working on 84. Everything's just really slow during the semester, unfortunately. But. Um, and I just spend a weekend running around the woods pretending to be a robot. But I, as, as I've stated before, once once I have a, a clearer idea of when 84 is coming out, I'll... I'll release an announcement on that. Um, and I, I expect it to uh, pick up again once the semester ends. Right now I'm like right around the mid... I'm already right around the midpoint of the semester, which is crazy to me. I haven't done shield and sword in years, and my shield arm hates me now. <laughs> That's right. You, you were doing the LARPing this weekend, as we, as we mentioned in the, in the yeah. um, Ninja Steel live reaction. That's why it was... Then because I had to do it as soon as I came back on Sunday. But yeah, since we do have filming tonight, I think it's, we should uh, jump right into things. Yeah, we got one hour until the actors show up, so... Uh, I think it'll be a little longer than that. He's coming from work. Alright, so... You told me earlier five, so... Uh, between five and six. Oh, okay. so we have between an hour and two hours. Yeah. Um, alright. Four o'clock. So time for... Episode 4 of Kaito Sentai Lupin Ranger versus Keizetsu Sentai Pet Ranger An Unacceptable Relationship P Play P Play There you are, magical sound <laughs> well, yeah, that sounds like a gang like Yeah, people disappearing from locked rooms. That is mysterious. Oh, it took me a moment to realize that Green was driving. I keep forgetting the, the flip of cars in Japan. Oh, they've been working together since they were cadets. They've been stuck together since they were cadets. And she... I really like just just going off of how their dynamic is. Apparently, she's more confident than him. She should really be in charge over him. That's that's probably why I kept thinking of her as Patron Two, even though she's Patron Three. 
because she seems like she should be a higher rank than Patron 2. Well, since Patron 2 seems to be new, yeah. yeah. I mean, really, she feels like she should be at a higher rank than either of them. Okay, I think they've lost their daughter based on this bedroom. Mm. Her eyes have opened widely. There's a stuffed pink... Stuff it's about as close to a locked room as you can get. Okay, she's got a suspicion about what's going on here. I don't know what. You gotta find the daughter. I do like that we're finally getting a Pot Ranger Focus episode. Mysterious treasures left by the phantom thief Arsene Lupin, known as the Lupin Collection, have been stolen by the ganglers. The thieves who fight to recover what they've lost. The police who fight to protect world peace. Whose side are you on? And you see, they don't say it out loud. Catch me if you can, destiny, Yoko Kusuru. Onto Nuichi, Rika Tsuru, Mona Dekani. Collection of the blue band. Blue band you can. Get it anywhere you are. Hello, Seki. She's a good mama. Retired. The dial. Hold up, blue band. Some take you. Sayonara. And Ranger. <laughs> Shit Showtime! <laughs> I definitely need to listen to the other song. Yeah, we're, that was better than last time. But we, still a disaster. Oh, yeah, certainly. We, we said some additional words. She just spotted something. I did not say any additional words. No, no, I mean, we actually, like, said more oh, the words of the words last time. than okay. last time. Okay. Last time we said, like, five words. Shark Planet. These sharks. Why is she not sharing? Okay, good, she is. <laughs> Who are the global police? Can we talk to you about your stuffed sharks? I feel like they're not actually so global as very localized. What the? Hey, Lupin Rangers, what are you up to? Just kind of chill. Ah! Uh, so they So they knew he was a gang there already. I knew it! Now you know I get it, I gotta kick your butts! Yep. They do have style. Look at it now. I cannot deny their style. Hey, good to change. Surprise. Nice. Oh, we're getting one of the. Whoa, we are playing with the camera right now. Yeah. They do have fun with that, like, low fish angle lens every now and again. This is an interesting sort of continuous shot. I think it's a drone. I think that was a drone with a, with a fisheye lens, which, uh, which is... That's got to be tricky to operate that closely with that level of precision. Not to mention that it skimmed the ground pretty closely there. Yeah. Oh, they can't take them down without losing the people who get that. But there's no way that... That they could get a, a dolly to do that. 
Yeah, because unless it, that was a seam of two shots somehow that we missed, uh, the, I wouldn't be surprised if there if there was some some seams in there. See, that, look, you can see your heels. Yep. Uh, she wants to help. Oh, that's right, because they know about the pieces of the collection. It's nice that the Lupin Rangers have that little have that little bit of extra info on what's going on. Meanwhile, the maybe the people are being turned into the plushies. I don't know about that. I feel like the plushies are turning them into things, but I don't know what. Decorations. I think there was something else that that must. Um, that must be in that room that does not belong there. <laughs> that he has chains on his, uh, on his, on his, on his uh, blanking on the word all of a sudden. Chain, uh, chains on his safe. The word safe just dropped out of my head for a moment there. Hey, don't do that, that's not nice. They must have, at this point, a fairly close relationship with the three of them. Because uh, yeah. if not, that was extremely condescending. How's your bonsai doing? Oh, come on, Jim. <laughs> Find something. I feel. Aww. Jim's upset that he can't find anything. Also, I feel like we are going to see like a CG version of Jim Carter doing some magic things at some point. I'll drink an energy oil too. Because it looks like it has wheels for feet underneath its feet. Which would suggest to me that it can Is roll out of the battle. Is she going to get kidnapped by the, by the plush toy now? Maybe. <laughs> Why are you so cute? Are you kidding me? She's trying not to succumb to the kawaii. She wants to cuddle it. <laughs> she collects stuffed animals. This is the inappropriate relationship. This is adorable. Patron son, you're the best. She's checking, checking. Don't do it. Go for cuddles. <laughs> she... <laughs> oh, and she's gone. Interesting. You know bad things happen to things that snuggle these things. Why would you Well, do now, that? now she knows the snuggles are what do it. It is activated by snuggles. Now, where is she at? 
Probably the place with all the other victims. Zoom. Yep, there we go. So it... Does it turn them into decorations or not? Alright. Momoko! Yep. Little girl. Hello, little girl. Definitely the shark. Where does it go? Okay, good. Their gun still works in wherever they are. It might even be the another location in the real world. <laughs> Otherwise, them running away wouldn't help. You know, you can't run out yeah, of the uh, You should probably, probably patronize that. You let all my merch run off? People Oof. collect stuffed animals. He collects people. Legit. Alright. So there's no way that the others can figure it out except they do. I just happen to actually have them. Alright. So, how did they figure it out? Was there uh, camera footage? Either that or they. she has maybe some sort of a tracker on it? I don't know. Like a police tracker? Let's see. Oh, she couldn't have powderized if she wanted to. Oh, she didn't have her. Um, she didn't have her morpher. They just handed it to her. Well, it, well, it got knocked away. Was what happened. Oh. Because okay. she used she used the VS changer to oh, shoot right, the block. Oh, right, to shoot the thing. Okay. And then uh, Love Room kicked it off. I missed that while I was snuggling my other girls. That's been sad, all. So they're not using each knee sound, they're using a different... Did you know there are different counters in Japanese for different items? It's really weird. Interesting. I think it was more so just that it didn't end on the hard end. Okay, so the people have been found. So, it didn't turn them into decorations, it just teleported them, which is interesting. Well, maybe he used his power to turn a teleporter into a decoration, wherein the teleporter is the, has been turned into the show. Masquerade. I, I do like how they they um they're 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 keeping up this sort of independent operators thing pretty well. Occasionally cooperative, occasionally at odds, depending upon the situation. Oh, I didn't look enough the. Yeah, I'm trying thing. to find out if there's a um, common counters by category. If there's a, like a counter for people, that might be what's being applied to. Oh, okay. Some. Yeah, she deliberately kicked him over to yellow so that yellow could get the item. Thanks for the tip. There we go. Man. <laughs> my, my hand slipped. Actually, it was my foot. Nice. And she just shoots out everybody. She is by far the most confident of the 
Pod Ranchers. Hey, Goody. What's up? What's good, Goody? Two different ones for Sean, and now that we're seeing it's two different ones for people. What's he gonna do? Hey. Okay, so apparently he feels like doing the, uh... Pod Ranger. Yep, Pod Ranger Union. I'm good. Apparently, yeah, they don't get a choice. He just does this stuff whenever he feels like it. Like, I think you were the focus team today. So I'm gonna go with you. Nice. So that means they get to do the Megazord fight this time. Yep. Here the engines roar. They'll get, get their man. Wild attacks with uh, wild impacts. Police combination time. Reach out for justice. Nice. I do like those. I love uh, how those cactus. Yeah, those, those those consoles are pretty great. I do, I would like to see uh, Lupin Kaiser again uh, next time to get a better feel for if it still has that trigger in, in, uh, in the back end. Yeah, because I feel like it, it must, but I just didn't notice it as much. When it was Lupin. Because um, I don't, I feel like they don't have the triggers on theirs, unlike the individual patch uh, resorts. What? <laughs> Flying shark jaws. Crazy. I mean, he is a shark stuffed animal. He make me die. I don't know. Okay, so apparently. Oh, he. Okay, he was using his mouth to warp people around. What? Um. Oh. Right now? No. Oh, okay. Okay, um... I don't know what just happened. Oh, that's right, they can still summon their swords, too. Blue's got a little propeller. Oh, nice. I'm down to the support team going on here. Oh, is he just going to swap over to... Oh, yeah, he is. Nice. Closer look at how this handles here. So yeah, that's right. They've got the dial focus. So it still has the trigger on, on the back. It's just the dial is the bigger, it's the bigger focus. I'm just talking to myself because I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to roll with and continuing to react to this. What? This lips actually thinks 
question. Hi. Hi. What's up? None of your business or theirs. Okay. More specifically, none of their business. Okay. Um. I wouldn't have taken the call if it wasn't important. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, Goody swapped over to the Lupin Rangers halfway through the fight. It's like a rhythm dance. Yep. So apparently, uh, the the divide, the uh, get piece of the Lupin collection was turning his jaws into the stuffed animals. So that's why when you rub on the face, it's the mouth that, that actually is used as the warp. So that's what he was doing with the... So they had figured it out. Jim Carter records everyone in... <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering if there might be a recording device. <laughs> so, warping is a natural ability that he has, and the ability to hide his warp mouths was what he got from the collection. Mm, nice treats. <laughs> he knows about, he knows about her, her love of stuffed animals. You rub your face and stuffed animals even back at the academy. Oh, that's adorable! Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> He's just like, yep. Kawaii's so funny. Red just Well, does you not. did snuggle evidence. And he's just like rolling with it. He does not find anything weird about it. He's just like, yeah, that's, that's the situation. Oh, they're finally going to fight uh, Destra next time. And they're going to get a new um, uh, Zord for, I, I, I believe, the Lupin Reigns. I don't know who's getting the new Zord. What? Look at that! Hey, look familiar? They've lit the whole world on fire. The superheroes born in Japan have made their way home. Our Little Rangers on DVD and Blu-ray. Oh, that's great. Okay, so. Yeah. I love you. Yes. This is important. Okay. Can we pause while I make a very important phone call? Okay. And then we will have our discussion afterwards. All I'm right. very sorry, guys. Wait a minute. Hey, Ollie. All right, so we're back. Um, yeah, it was just a quick, like, medical communication thing that kind of had to be straightened out. ASAP. Um, so, since it was time sensitive, yeah, kind of had to yeah. pause for that. Uh, All right, so. So, uh, Lupin Ranger. With the Lupin Ranger versus Battle Ranger. Interesting thing that um, I hadn't really fully noticed uh, until somebody pointed it out on Twitter, and then I'm like, that's right. Was this while I was on the phone? Um, no, this was the uh, this was like yesterday. I saw it, mm. and um, I'm I'm going to lead you to it here. So there are two songs at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Are there two songs at the end? There are no songs. At the there end. are no songs at the end. There's no ending theme. It, it's taken us a couple episodes, but yeah, there's no there's no end theme. We've been so focused on trying to figure out the beginning theme. There's no Sentai dance. There is no Sentai dance. Now note, Sentai dances do not always happen. Um, for instance, you know, we, we there was no if, uh, as as entertaining as Chan Bar Bar was, there wasn't really a Chan Bar Bar dance with the uh, with the bit of Shinkanger that we watched. Um, I know Magi Ranger. Magi Ranger had one. Go Busters. Go Busters had one. All the best Sentai. Q Ranger. Um, Avo Ranger was a little bit different, but definitely fun because uh, instead of the Rangers dancing during the end credits, it was uh, it was the Triptoids. Oh God. So that was it's just 
that um, I forget exactly what they were called. Uh, Bari Baris or something? I, f I forget. Um, that you just said they were called triptoids. Well, triptoids is what they were called in Dino Thunder. Oh. But the triptoid dance was very amusing because it's just all the you know. It's the foot soldiers all in a line doing a whole little dance, and that was very amusing. It was not the first or the last time I'm sure that that happened. Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> um, they make great dancers. Yeah, like Barma, something like that. I don't know. I think um, it might have been Barma. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting that we just cut straight to the preview. Yeah. Uh, we 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 have no end end credits. So that's not just a feature of our 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 sub. Um. So they didn't get cut off. That's no, uh, no. The, I mean, e even so, normally we, we we're still getting the end preview, which normally would take place after the uh, after the credits. You're right. It would. So that's been interesting. Um, I don't know what's up with that, but yeah. Heal me. <laughs> I'm I was so tired. It was amusing that uh, when she found out. Wait. Was snuggling up against a pair of shark jaws. Uh. So yeah, um, Tsukasa. I, would, I believe that's her Tsukasa. name. Tsukasa. Yeah. Uh, I I think she's she might be the the best the best of the of the team so far. I enjoy her. I do. She uh, like but even between between both teams. I think she might be. She well, they have to just throw her one of those like. It's funny too because she's just been so shoved in the background for the first three episodes. It, uh, the poor thing is going to wind up dripping in in middle aged Japanese woman stereotypes. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, I expect us to have a a thing soon with the fact that she has no boyfriend and she's going to be you know, uh, twenty five soon. Oh uh, yeah. Going to become a Christmas things. cake. Yeah, that'll probably be a thing. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, she's a professional, so she she's probably not that young. She went to the academy. Yeah, but just the the fact that she you know she's the the most professional character who also has a pension for cute things. I'm like, you know what? I am down with this characterization. Kawaii. This is fun. Um, and uh, this also yeah, featured Kawaii. Red's probably best moment, where it's just like. Yeah, ever since the Academy. And then just flash back and you see her cuddling with the adorable little Tiny stuffed dog. dog and he just and he just walks in. It's just like And he just he just walks right past like it doesn't like Noted. She is a little bit weird about them. Like, I love stuffed animals. Yeah. But I don't generally scream, heal me. Yeah, it's a little well, that, that's I, just this once. Heal me. I get, I get the impression that's part of just the over the topness of the show. Yeah, yes, the, I'm sure the over the top the, melodrama of Sentai. Um, but it's still really it, funny to me. <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot of fuss on him. Um, like a lint brush or something. But yeah, you know, it was a decent little little procedural there. Um, and of course it, it does make sense that there would be security cameras in the police base. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that myself, although I wasn't expecting it to be the robot who did it. I was just expecting that to have been a standard feature of the police office. Well, I mean, he's the, he's basically the I interface. I mean, it's essentially their bullpen. Yeah. Uh, which is interesting, because it means that their, like, chief dude doesn't really have his own office. Usually the chief's got his own office, so he could be like, IN MY OFFICE! Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he does, and he just he just only uses maybe it for. That's not how they do it in Japan. Or, or maybe maybe uh, he, he would just pull him into the interrogation room if he ever needs to do that, because it is a very small that's precinct. Small. <laughs> it's it's four people and a robot, and their commissioner, as as cool and chill a guy as he is, he doesn't really seem to do much outside of just tend to his boss side. <laughs> well, I mean, it's kind of amusing. The captain often is shown to do very little in a police thing, except yeah. for be all like, you're a loose cannon! Turn in your badge and your gun! But yeah, I, I really, I feel like Tsukasa should just be in charge of that trio. 
Like, she's the most confident. Hmm. She definitely is the most confident. Um. Um. Because, you know, green is, is, is very green. He's very new. Yeah, he's brand new. Uh, and red has some serious anger management problems. Yeah. Um, that really aren't very becoming in a leader. Yeah, no. He's, he's just, just really aggressive. Um, yeah, we and don't it's, need that. We don't need that. Like, I, I actually... I think it says something that his best moment so far was just when he was playing things completely deadpan for once. Which is nice. Because <laughs> um, he's, he's just... He's just angry and aggressive all the time and basically just always going after the Lupin Rangers at, at fairly inappropriate times. It's like, uh, we got a gangler to take care of? Him? Yeah. Well, it's pretty much who... <laughs> Pretty much whoever shows up to the fight last, that's who he wants to fight. It's just like, we're fighting the Ganglers, but the Lupin Rangers have just arrived, let's fight them. Oh, we were fighting the Lupin Rangers, but the Ganglers just arrived, let's, let's fight, fight them. them! Yeah, he is, um, aggressive and distractible, neither of which are fantastic traits in a leader. And stubborn. I hear the stairs. Yes, that happens. We have neighbors. I wasn't they sure tend if it was to be the neighbors. They tend to operate the stairs. They do tend to operate the stairs. Why it's just are we... that we are now between five and six, so. I oh, was... oh, oh, yeah. No, I, I'm not expecting before five thirty, really. Okay. Um. That's cool. That means we have enough time to finish a half hour discussion. I do like that we got to that we got to see both uh, both mechs in battle. This one. Oh, I missed uh, the Lupin mech. Yeah. Uh, well, they were while the um. While Pat Kaiser was trapped in the, uh, by the shark jaws, which was interesting because it was a set of four shark jaws and he kept warping from one to the yes, next. Yes, that and, I saw. And it took me a moment to figure out that's what was happening and that was actually pretty cool. And so the shark jaws were the things being disguised as the stuffed animals. Um, so I'm glad they were able to tie that in. I don't know why a ribbon else. dancer turns things into decorations. No. Um... So while Pat Kaiser was trapped by the shark jaws, uh, the Lupin Rangers decided to help out by summoning their flying machines, and um, and so they attacked. They destroyed the shark jaws from outside, um, helping out the Pat Rangers to escape. And uh, Goody's just like these guys. Uh, these guys seem like they're they're going to do better at this. I'm going to go. <laughs> Combine with them now. All y'all are fail. I'm going to see the Lupin Rangers. Yeah, that's very much what happened. Um, so then the Lupin, uh, so then they informed Lupin Kaiser and finished off the monster. Um, I, I would have liked to see, I think, a little bit more mystery elements, because they did kind of jump into things pretty, pretty quick, but at the same time, I do like that, uh, that there was actually pretty good police work going on here. Uh, they and the Lupin Rangers were able to provide a tip because they have the inside info from uh, Kogure. Um, so, so I think that all uh, dovetailed together. The Ribbon Dancer was well. also a little freaky to me in that it seemed to be perpetually it was just stuck in the coil. You could just pick it up and it didn't. Go yeah, whoosh. yeah. It wasn't it was more like a statue of a ribbon. Yeah, a statue of a Ribbon Dancer because yeah. it had the stick. Yeah. And the ribbon. Yeah. But it wasn't the actual ribbon dancer. And I also like that Pink was... I feel like Pink's like the Commissioner Gordon of the group. And that she's like, yeah, um, you guys are, are helping us out. We'll help you out. We'll be collaborative okay, here. Okay, so that's how you say Commissioner Gordon. I was sitting here going, she doesn't look anything like Commissioner Gordon. Maybe when she has like... Maybe Barbara. But... Maybe if she has like a stuffed animal to her face, there's the mustache. Um, but ju just in terms of of being the one who, who currently appears to be the most likely to work with the Lupin Rangers. Red is openly antagonistic. Um, and Green just follows his lead. Yeah. His, his senpai. Green is, well, he, you notice he calls her senpai too. He even did it when he was saying that she was cute and it was like. Fair enough. Oh, you've just put senpai and kawaii in the same sentence. Yeah. I think that's going to get you in trouble with your senpai. Probably. Um, um, because although a lot of women would like to be kawaii, um, you know, because that's, you know. 
But I, 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 I catch both ways. I am starting. I am starting to but dig the. She's at work and trying to be professional. She doesn't the, want people to think she's kawaii. Now That's that we're, why she hides her stuffed animals. Yeah, exactly. And now that we're starting to get more focus on the Path Rangers, it's, it's been slow, but um, but I am liking them, liking the characters. I think a little bit more. Uh, the like the Lupin Rangers have great style. The Lupin Rangers have a lot more characterization still. The Path Rangers still have a bit of catch up work to do. Well, the Lupin Rangers they've got. Um, stronger backstories and um, more style, but in terms of uh, characterization, uh, I think the Path Rangers have um, the more defined characterization. Really? Um, just I see yellow as the, the ingenue, the hopeful. Yeah. I see uh, red as the uh, bold and um, reckless uh, mm -hmm. Rebellion leader and blue is sort of the cool and rational one. Well, to an extent, except when he kept going after the uh, Path Rangers guns in the last one, their VS changers, um, when he was letting his emotions get the better of him. Which is probably why he spends so much time being aloof and rational. But in terms, the Vulcan principle. But um, you never want to see an emotional Vulcan. But I think, emotional Vulcan. I think the dynamics with the Path Rangers are even, um, well, maybe the, it's more so that they're more exaggerated. Uh, Red, we, we have very clear anger. From dude. moment one, we could tell that Red had an anger management problem. Green is very much the bumbling, uh, the bumbling newbie, and that's kind of adorable. And Pink is... The super, like, competent, rational one who's playing the straight man to their nonsense. And it, it works as a dynamic. It does. Um, and the fact that she also has the layer of loving cute things, I well, think, just kind of... Well, she is also the chick, so... Yeah. Um, she is, is carrying the, the chick stereotype here. So she's, she's got a nice little dichotomy of character. Um, which, which the other characters... The, um, the other I feel like that's something that happens frequently on. in Sentai. Yeah. Like if you're going to have a, a girl character who's very severe, she yeah. usually has some hidden girly thing, mm. like loving stuffed animals. Or yeah, that seems to be a common trope. Being trail. like in love with a prince from a comic book, or you know, yeah. whatever. If you're gonna have a severe female character, she's usually got some hidden, soft, gooey inner center embarrassing girly thing I uh, one of the things I, I, I liked in X-Aid with it's it's a similar thing with uh, with Poppy and x aid she has two very different personas um, one is very much the uh, the voice of reason and the other is super adorable um, and and I like that dichotomy of character um, you it it's it's good to show that you can be you can be both you can be both you can be the voice of reason and I'm still, still have happy. things that you enjoy you you don't need to you know hate the world to be the voice of reason yes reason and cynicism do not need to travel together yeah um i mean with with Q, in Q Ranger with raptor like when she wasn't you know fawning all over her her fangirlishness I want a boy. When she wasn't, when she wasn't being fangirl, she was. She was very much, you know, playing straight. You messed it up again. Yeah. Um. Commander, stop! I can't believe you scared me like that. Yeah. Um. Just taking characters to task on things yes. quite a bit. It was good times. Um. But yeah, I I like. That we have uh, uh, the locked room mystery is sort of a, a classic mystery trope. So I'm hoping that we get to see a few more classic mystery tropes with a Sentai spin. Yes, because your op, uh, your average locked mystery, uh, locked room mystery occurs in a world without magic. Yeah, <laughs> which makes it a lot more difficult to explain how people are getting removed from locked rooms. Although oddly enough, one of the other the one of the first cases to come to mind of a locked room mystery actually. Uh, the one that pops into my head is from Dirk Gently, which, that was not a mundane... No, it wouldn't be. You haven't read that, have you? No, I was thinking more along the lines of Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes had a bit of that, too, I think. 
And of course there's Clue, where they just have a bunch of secret passages and things. Yes. Which is good times. That's a great movie. I don't remember that being a locked room mystery, though. Um, not per se. Not, well, there were a few cases where there was, like, a character in a room that they had locked, and then they come back and the, the character is dead. Fair. So that was, to an extent, a locked room mystery, the until they realized... That, that the room was not, in fact, locked. Yeah, which is usually what it comes out to be. There's there's always some way in or out of the room I could in swear the mundane that the mysteries. the thing with the, with the Sherlock Holmes one involved a snake. Uh, that could... It could be a speckled band, I think, was a locked room mystery. Whereas, in that case, there was a, you know... There was a well, means for the snake to get in and out. Yeah, there was no means for a person to get in or out, but the snake... Yeah. You know, you could... Skinny. Um, also, with Sherlock Holmes, you have the benefit of... Um, forensics aren't the same back then as they are now, so it, if somebody dies in a locked room, it's much more mysterious because you can't just be like, Oh, ah. snake venom. <laughs> yes, we took him for autopsy. It looks like he had a reaction yeah. to snake venom. Yeah, oh yeah, yep, here's cause of death. We found it. Try and find a snake. There's got to be a snake around there somewhere. Although, to be honest, if they had had even some rudimentary autopsy, they probably would have found the fang marks. I mean, maybe they did. I haven't read the speckle... Or if I have read the speckle band, it's been a long time. I think I might have read a abridged version when I was a kid. Um, I do not remember. But, anywho. So, yeah. I'm digging what's going on with the... Uh, with... with these procedural elements, the and meanwhile the main story seems to be with the Lupin Rangers. Those were some really big stuffed animals. They were they were pretty big. They were pretty big. They were about a yay size. Yeah, they're they weren't like thick. they were like they weren't like giant giant, but they were fairly they were large. Pretty, considerable size. They were they were good for hugging. Yeah. Which I think was part of the idea. Um they're and then like we, bed pillow height. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like, you know, like... The giant, giant gung ones. Yeah, it's not like, you know, what, what Tony Stark would get for Pepper. It's like 20 feet tall. Nobody wants that thing, by the way. Nobody. Nobody wants that, okay? Somebody might think they want that, but after they've had it for about three days, they don't want it anymore either. I, I, I love the, the stuffed bear I've seen online that's supposedly like six feet tall. But then you find out it was a perspective shot. It just has four foot long legs. It's super weird. Because you see it, you see it from feet first. So you assume, the, and they say it's six feet tall. So you assume, okay, it, proportionally, it's a person sized bear. And then you, and then you take another picture of it when you get it, and the legs are just this long, and the rest of it's just a normal sized bear. This is a thing. This is a thing that exists. I've seen, it, I've seen images of it. I feel on. like that's a prank. I yeah. feel like the, the website is deliberately pranking you. Probably. I think it was on like Craig... It was like somebody found it on Craigslist or something. I don't know. I feel like that person was deliberately pranking Craigslist. Probably. Um, so it's a pretty ridiculous thing to get. Yeah, it is. Um, so I think I think we've, uh, we've, we've covered... <laughs> we've covered enough. We're going to keep working on that theme song. Yeah. Uh, it's going to take a while. We're going to be continuing to mumble th mumble through it for a while. We'll try and find some time for practice outside of these. We keep forgetting until it's actually yeah, like time to go. Yeah, and then it's like, time to go, it's like, hey, oh, should we stop and practice? Way. And we're like, we don't have time for that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so I guess until yeah, next... Yeah, before the actors show up. <laughs> yeah, until next time, <laughs> farewell, well, Ranger fans, and let, let the power protect, protect you. you. Look at these shark jaws. I wonder if they're cuddly. Yeah. <laughs>